Hello guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is uh, turnisb.com. Today uh, I'm going to show you how to install WordPress in your local computer. So um, basically, we only need four important steps. Uh, these are installing SAMP, creating database for WordPress, connecting WordPress to the database, and installation of WordPress. So that's it. So number one, let's go and install SAMP. Okay, I had some in WordPress here already. Downloaded it. So, so in installing SAMP, just um, um basic things. It's like uh, installing games on on your PC, uh, because uh, I got some here already. So, when you install SAMP, just leave all the settings by default, and that's it. You can use it. and it's ready. So once you've done that. We will go and open the SAMP control panel. Okay, in here uh, we will be needing two modules under modules. There's uh, there's um, Apache and MySQL. So let's go and start. Okay, it shows here status running, status running. We can minimize this screen. And open some. Uh, in order for us to do that, just uh, open the web browser. A bit slow okay so that's it loads so just uh, just type in there local host okay that's it so in here uh, we're just uh, gonna set the password for root Click on security. Okay. Then um, look for HTTP local security, some security, and click on that. So in here, uh, I am asked to. Oh no. Uh, in here, uh, I can only change the password. So it's a password changing options here. But when you uh, first install the SAMP, it will ask you to create a password for it. So just input the password and you're done. We can now proceed with step uh, number two, that's creating a database for WordPress. So le let's recap uh, first step, installing SAMP, uh, which includes the starting the two modules, Apache and MySQL, and also setting up the password for root. So that's it, pretty easy and a very user-friendly um, software. So let's go and proceed with creating database for WordPress. So let's open our web browser again. Just like in there, localhost, php, my admin. So this one, uh, PHP my admin came by default when you install SAMP. So just access the local host and type in there PHP my admin, and uh, this page will show or should be appear. So in here, we've got a username root. That's the default. So the password I set up is, or the password I set. Is one two three four five. So uh, anyway, let's hit go. Okay. In here, uh, <coughs> we can now create a um, database for our WordPress. So just click on new. So database name, I will say EFG. 
then create so it shows here EFG has been created so once you've done that you can log out in the screen or you can just uh, close it close it once well okay and let's go with the uh, number three step three connecting the wordpress to the database so uh, before we proceed with uh, step three let's uh, prepare our wordpress folder so in here i i got the wordpress and zip let's proceed and open that copy that wordpress folder to local drive c Okay, Sam, htdocs, spell in here, I mean uh, just space in here, so. so just to recap, the location is local drive c samp htdocs so we copied the wordpress folder to this path okay so let's go ahead and open the wordpress folder to complete our step 3 connecting the wordpress to database so this one wp-config.sample uh, we should rename this to wconfig that's php okay Let's open that and look for press ctrl f in your keyboard look for db dash name okay so in here uh, we we've created a database name called EFG so that's our DB name let's proceed with other requirements here it says for DB user that's the root and for the password One, two, three, four, five. So all set. We've got uh, DB name, DB user, and password. <coughs> so let's save this file. Save and you can close it after saving. And now, um, Let's uh, review. We've done install stamp, uh, we've done creating database for WordPress, and we've done connecting the WordPress database. So the last step is to install the WordPress. So let's go and open our web browser again. Let's type in there localhost. Okay, WordPress WP admin install that PHP. select a language for me uh, I will leave it like that and continue so for, for okay welcome to the famous five minutes okay so for my site title I'll say EFG blog <coughs> username admin3 password Okay, this is only a sample if you um if you're gonna create a password for your actual web website you need to um have a combination of special characters lowercase uppercase and number so since this is sample only we use one two three four five one two three four five okay let's beat one two three four five and 
email say ads at transb.com <coughs> okay then install um click the button here install wordpress so that's it we've done installing the wordpress so I'll proceed and log in so you can see let's input admin2 1 2 3 4 5 Oh, um, it's admin three. Sorry, admin three. One, two, three, four, five, and login. Okay, so as you can see here, um, we're now in a WordPress dashboard where you can start building your site or doing your test lab or experiments. So that's it. Uh, we've installed the uh, WordPress in Windows 7 locally. So as you can see here, oh, so this, uh, these are all by default. So that's it. Um, I see you on my next video, and don't forget to subscribe with me just click on the link below and also you can visit our website at uh, www.turnsp.com for more um, tutorials